No shit, cause I don't wanna have to jump on y'all. A fucking bullshit. Tampa Bay is where I'm living. Yeah, I eat good like it's Thanksgiving. My pocket's fat. Thank God for that. Nigga, don't make me run up on you with the fucking gat. I get it like that. A uh, bitch will get it down. I don't play around. I smoke upon the pound. And when the pound's done, I go and get some more. And you know the shit I'm smoking on is the motherfucking drove. A freestyle for y'all. A from Bruce Steve's. I make up all the baddest bitches. Get down on their knees, please. Yes, indeed, dawg. This how I do. Baby Pimpin' and it's that nigga named Blue Steve, bitch
talk like Marlene Dietrich And you dance like C.C. Chalmers Your clothes are all made by Bella And there's diamonds and pearls in your hair In a fancy apartment on the boulevard Saint Michel, where you keep all your Rolling Stones records and your friends of Sasha Stell. Yes, you do. But where do you go to, my lovely, when you're alone in your bed? Won't you tell me the thoughts that surround you? I want to look inside your head, yes I do. I've seen all your qualifications that you got from the Sorbonne and the painting we stole from Picasso. Your loveliness goes on and on, yes it does When you go on your summer vacation You go to Shualapan With your carefully designed topless swimsuit You get an even suntan on your back and on your legs and when the snow falls, you're found in San Ritz With the others of each at set Where you sip your Napoleon brandy But you never once get your lips wet No, you don't But where do you go to, my lovely When you're alone in your bed won't you tell me the thoughts that surround you? I want to look inside your head, yes I do. Your name it is heard in high places. You know the Aga Khan, and he sent you a racehorse for Christmas, and you keep it just for fun for a laugh. They say that when you get married, it'll be to a millionaire. But they don't realize where you came from. And I wonder if they really care or give a damn. But where do you go to, my lovely, when you're alone in your bed? Tell me. Thoughts that surround you. I want to look inside your head. Yeah, I do. Ah, I remember the back streets of Naples. Two children begging in rags. Both touched with a burning ambition to shake off their lonely born tags. And they tried. So look into my face, Marie Claire, and remember just who you are. And then I go and forget me forever, because I know you still bear the scar inside. Yes, you do. Because I know where you go to, my love, when you're alone in your bed. Thoughts that surround you Cause I can see inside your head
that Which makes me wanna react to the way we flirting and chat Tell myself to relax, cause I was walking you back to your place Discussions of fate, wait a small break in the pace Or a regular day, now we patiently wait for who makes the first move Choose wisely as the movement with the moon We'll soon cast the perfect hue She'll be staring there, not hesitant or confused Could it be true, I wonder if you or me Could make the necessary moves to be carefree And evidently, make a bond that outlasts the mistakes Expectations left in the past Before the sheets could get hot Appreciate the hand that you got That's really not asking a lot Let me unravel the plot Aside from the drinking and smoking Curves to a figure Got a good man hoping for the right moment A second, envision undressing No time for stressing Keep the combo interesting Cause this year's a blessing Just being in the presence So intense the difference Between the groupies or the rest She's never been considered less Compliment to my soul like my heart Relying on breath Here's her eyes calling to me When I need to redirect Redirect
She was the prettiest thing the boy had seen. Breakfast with the queen. See?
the grot always born. <laughs>
Little Tammy was a happy, happy boy. Too damn happy. Everything Sammy saw made him happier. Everything. Some on the sidewalk. Gigantic butts. Homosexuals. That doesn't make me happy. Mutant babies. That's funny. Bunnies and flowers and all that is politically correct. No, that just sucks. It was simple, really. Sammy had to be stopped. Sammy was cured with electroshock therapy. That's gonna be. And thank God he grew up to be normal. The end. See, kids? When you're too happy... You die. You die. Or you get shocked in the boat. Time for a short story about Emily the Amputee. Oh, no, I'm not <laughs> Emily. Emily went, went to her doctor for an annual checkup. Some paperwork got mixed up and they amputated one of her legs. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Rosie's crazy mother. Oh. Rosie's mother was a crazy woman. She shaved the cat. Nothing wrong with that. And she glued little pictures of Elvis all over them. That's interesting. Rosie's crazy mother had a life-size tattoo of herself on her back. Just. <laughs> After school snacks usually consisted of a jar of mayonnaise and something alive. <laughs> Rosie finally decided that it was weird that her mother made her sleep in the oven. Rosie began to worry about the age of six. She feared to grow up she'd be just like her mother. And she did! And... Mary had a little chainsaw. Its teeth were sharp as steel. Everywhere that Mary went, the saw was sure to go. She brought it with her to school one day, which apparently was against the rules. It made the children laugh to play, see the chainsaw at school. Mary grew up to be one of those biker women with tattoos. And Angus Oblong is a writer and illustrator residing in San Francisco, California, and does not live in L.A. Besides the series of dark and twisted tales and the size of children's books, he also writes, writes and illustrates children's books meant for children. Angus Oblong is legally insane and an avid collector of dead trees, which litter his tiny, non-lit studio apartment. His fascination with physical deformity stems from the fact that a living, movable right hand is growing from the center of his back. Otherwise, he is perfectly normal.